What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, today guys, we're going to be working towards icon swaps. We don't have much time left. I'll be honest, I don't particularly care if I complete icon swaps or not. I've got three games left on the Portuguese setup and that's that token done and that'll be me with nine tokens. Uh, we've got two left on the French squad three left on the Premier League and four left on the Serie A. Um, the reason why I don't particularly care about it is because I'm only going to be taking Zambrotta and then I don't know if I could be bothered to put the work in, right? Um, I know that's very lazy of me, but, you know, with the state of my team right now, as you guys know, we just don't we just don't need it. Um, so we are going to start working on it today. But what I wanted to try is, like, I was uh, th looking back to some of my old series that did well and, you know, Super Juice used to be a really successful series. So I think over the next few days and weeks, I I'm first of all, want to be doing like a few, not player reviews per se, but I want to be spicing up the objective squads with players outside of the norm. Like this Premier League squad that we've got here, which is a first owner squad, I can't put Kante into it because I've already got the two fullbacks that aren't first owner, so the other nine are. Um, I, I want to uh, I want to start spicing up the squads a little bit with more unique players and such and using the coins that we accumulate now to do that um, but also I want to get into uh, the habit of um, j just enjoying this now you, you might think what I'm about to do to enjoy this isn't necessarily something that would be considered enjoyable uh, first of all I'm going to be putting Perisic on the bench because I need to score with Croatians um, to get Orsic and uh, second of all I've given attribute cards to my two strikers yeah i know attribute cards right remember super juiced it was a fun series and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start maxing out stats just one stat from a couple players each time just to see the difference in how how it impacts them whether it impacts them and, and how the game plays so with king we've got he's got 99 shooting on the card he's got 99 positioning finishing shot power volleys and penalties and then 95 long shots obviously i didn't get enough of a boost i need to start accumulating the coaches again so i get the max boost like the plus 15 shooting attribute card gives obviously plus 15 if you get the max 50 coach boost it gives plus 23 so what it's going to allow us to do as well is not only just have fun uh with these cards but it's going to allow us to take players that aren't quite as good just max out a stat category and uh have some fun with them and then with jamie vardy uh the same we've got the stat card on him so he's got 99 shooting in the shooting category uh but he's got 99 positioning finishing shot power volleys and penalties but only 78 long shots uh so it's going to be just interesting to see how this team plays um so this is my premier league first owner i am going to sub on perisic i just want to have a quick look um at what we've got with orsic what do we need so that's squad battles Score eight goals in rivals using midfielders with four-star weak foot, which is going to be fine. We should just do that almost by accident. Four goals from crosses and then score using Croatian with using Croatian players in five separate rivals wins. So what I'm going to be doing is switching into the... Um, or maybe, I'll, maybe I'll stick with the 4-4-2 actually. And then I'll just bring Perisic on up front at halftime um, and try and get a goal with him. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But that, guys, is the squad. Um, let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. All right, guys, before we get into uh, some gameplay, we've actually got a lot of gameplay for you today. I want to go and get that Loic Remy card and uh, have a game with him uh, right here. So you are going to see me do a lot of the Orsic um, game, games here. Uh, so we completed one section of Orsic, uh, which gave us a goal pack. We completed one for a small Electron Players pack. Uh, we completed um the icon swaps for the premier league whilst getting some of the orsic, orsic stuff done with um perisic uh, i got perisic sent off in one of the games as well i tried to do a running fake shot he didn't have control of the ball he slid through a guy and got sent off um so then i've done two league one and one syria so i've only got a few more games to play and get through to finish off these icon swap tokens um and then three more of these games. And we also did a the Bayern Munich thing because we scored the goals with Perisic. So that's Bayern Munich uh, taken care of uh, from that. Um, so what I'm going to do here today, guys, uh, is uh, like I say, like we're, we're going to do... Um, we're going to carry on with this here, the French League first owned players right here. Um, so the Perisic, not Perisic, the Remy squad, it's an 84 rated squad. I don't know what I have with regards to untradeable players that I can put into it, but I've got some coins now. I've, I've basically sold all of my dead eyes at this stage as well. Uh, so my account, other than fitness cards and a few contracts, we're, we're about done. Um, I, I, I have got rid of about everything. Um, we have about 150,000 coins in squad fitness cards. Obviously, I've got some players like, you know, we've got almost 5,000 players in the club still, but we are finally all the way through our consumables, uh, which is nice. 
Um, I will, of course, be able to pick up uh, Team of the Year, Allison, um, eventually. But I'm not really fussed on him right now. You know, it's not not a priority for me. Oh, my God, we didn't even get a rare gold out of any of those uh, players, any of those packs. I was hoping to be able to pick something up um, to uh, to um, just, I suppose, make it easier to get this card. But sadly not. Let me just pop these guys up for the time being. He's not tradable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and build that 84 rated squad, hopefully with some stuff that I've already got. Then I'm going to go and build with you guys my French League team. We're going to play one live game with Loic Remy. Then we're going to get into some post-com games um, afterwards. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a bumper jam-packed episode. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is a team we're going to put in uh, for um, Loic Remy. It's a fully untradeable squad, so uh, I don't mind that some of these players might have high market value. The only one player that is like a big deal is that David Silva. He's untradeable too. Uh, we might as well use him. You know, it's, it is what it is. So we obviously don't have to uh, waste anything, only, only some, you know, potential other SBC fodder uh, for this Loic Remy. So happy to have him in the squad. Uh, let's go ahead and build our first owner French League squad. Now, of course, we only need nine first owner players. And I actually feel like, other than possibly the back line, um, I feel like we might have a fantastic um, first owner French League squad. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Obviously, we can use Mbappe uh, because... He he would be one of the two that won't be first owner. So uh, League One first owner, and we're just gonna we're we're just gonna try our best with this Louis Remy man. I might force the play to him a bit, you know, just to see how he goes. Uh, let's go into League One here. Um, we'll get uh, well. My goalkeepers aren't looking good either, and I don't really want to waste a first owner spot on him. Right back's not looking good. Maybe I should have done that La La card. Uh, center backs are also not really looking that great so as i said i think the back line is going to be in a bit of pro bit of trouble uh in fact a lot of trouble but i think the midfield um and the attack is going to be very strong uh of course we have that hour card so i'm not going to put that hour i'm not going to, I'm going to ignore both of those i think i've got Di maria as well um and then cavani not cavani anymore we've got remy and uh ben yedda i might have to play mbappe in midfield again uh is he a, yeah he is a cam anyway so yeah we've got uh, Awa, Di Maria, Bulaya, uh, Tiago Mendes. Uh, even I might even bring in Bakayoko for a CDM spot, uh, for a centre back spot. If we put Awa in there, if we put Tiago Mendes in there, if we pop in Bulaya at right mid and Di Maria at left mid, what we'll do is first things first, we'll put uh, the, him in there and put Mbappe in at centre mid. Uh, so Tiago Mendes there. Now, in terms of first owners, I believe it's only Mbappe that's not a first owner. So we can go ahead and purchase. I don't even know who a good left back. Do we even need... Do you know what? We're not even going to use... Um, we're going to use... Uh, what's his name again? Tagliafico. There we go. Um, that works. He soft links Di Maria. He gets pretty good chemistry. And uh, that's not a bad team. My back line's not the greatest. And because I am quite high skill rating right now, I'm at like 2750 or something like that. So, you know, we're pushing up towards Division 1 um it's it's definitely gonna be tough but i want to give it a shot i want to i want to just see how we get on with uh, this loic remy um and with this squad i'm just going to put some good players on the bench and uh some some great players on the bench actually and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the game all right guys into the game we go uh we come up against a 4-3-3 he's got a pretty nice squad uh some of the basic players still though lucas regular ben yedda militao and mendy some of the overpowered players, even with, uh, you know, the right back there as well. Uh, but generally speaking, a, a really like low end team. This would have been a great team, you know, six, eight weeks ago. We've got uh, Remy up front. Let's see what we can do with him. That's good from Neymar. Really good. Uh, yep, there he goes. This, this, we've got Skiller on our hands. So this is definitely going to be uh, really tricky to, to manage. But hopefully we'll do our best. There's Remy. There's Ben Yedda. Back into Remy. Oh, Remy's he's through. Can't mess this one up. Loic Remy! What a save from Ter Stegen. Maybe I should have finessed that. That's going to be trouble. He's, he's scored. He's scored. I thought he'd wasted his chance. That's nice from our... Oh, EA, please. EA, please. Abby too. Getting picked apart here. Uh, th this guy definitely does not have a great squad. That's nice from Remy. That's a lovely ball in. 
Is he going to get around the defender this time? Maybe so here. There he is. Surely Penrith. Come on. How is that not a pen? I've got to tap into an empty net and his keeper swiped my feet. Oh, he's going to get a third there as well, isn't he? See, is that the, that, that's, that's the two sides of this FIFA right here. On the one hand, he, I don't know how he gets away with it. And then on the other hand, he just managed to poke straight through, get the... Uh, oh, and there it is again. This game is just not going my way here. I am not getting anything out of this. We're going to get a goal back here. Yes, we are. Ben Yedder with one. Uh, Loic Remy with the assist. Nice little bit of shielding from Remy there as well to get, to get the assist. Go on. Into some space. Have a shot. Have a shot. It's not good. He's not good. Um, you know, it's just one game, but I'm up against a relatively low-end team. Granted, I'm in a high division, um, and so that has to be taken into consideration. And, you know, my opponent here is, is a good player. Um, that would be full-time as well. And, uh, you know, f like, obviously, it's just one game, so it's, it's hard to give, like, an outstanding review of Loic Remy. Uh, but he got one assist, two out of two for shots on target, and no goals. Uh, good passing, 14 out of 17 for the passes. 17 out of 26 for dribbles. So you can see I definitely forced the ball through him to really get an understanding of how... Uh, how well he plays. He lost nine fitness, the most on the team by a distance, which is surprising. And uh, I, I think it's fair to say, I mean, we got we got outclassed in that game. There's no no bones about that. But here's the first chance. Now, I probably could have had, probably could have run another little step in as well here and kept running to that near post and dribbled, drilled it at that near post. I tried the uh, drilled shot to the far post. You, I don't know. I, 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 I half expected just a better shot from there. Um, and then the goal from Ben Yedda. And here it is, Remy. Good strength for Remy there. And then a good finish for Ben Yedda, looping that over the keeper. And then I think, was it this one? No, that was my keeper making a save. So it didn't even show his second shot. Um, it also didn't show the penalty opportunity as well, where a ball rolled around the keeper for a tap-in and, and the game just didn't give me that one. So uh, there's your, your mini review of Loic Remy. Ultimately, he, he felt very underwhelming. Um, poor stamina, just just outclassed, bullied completely and, and just didn't really get involved in the game. So uh, there you go. So for now, though, guys, we're going to get into some uh, some post-com gameplay and look at us progressing towards towards that Orsic card. All right, guys, into the gameplay we go. Obviously, we just took that loss um, whilst playing with Loic Remy. Um, again, just want to reiterate because I'm sure I don't know how the live game was edited, but uh, my opponent was a very, very good player, a very strong, strong opponent. So uh, credit to him for being so good and playing with that team as well, which is uh, quite crazy. Um, we got some comments from yesterday's video, uh, of course. The first comment is from IG. He says, imagine if there was a tab in FIFA with an overview of how many packs you have opened for every single pack type separately would give great insights in terms of luck, hard work and efficiency levels. And do you know what? I would love to see that. Not only would it put to bed the whole we actually open as many packs as YouTubers do, you're on a red list debate, because then you would truly see that you just don't open as many packs as content creators. Um, but what else it would do is it, it would show the efficiency levels and the, the degree of effort that goes in when playing, when, when opening bronze packs and silver packs and gold pack method and stuff. Imagine if, if it showed you how many bronze packs I'd open, how many 400 coins bronze packs. You know, maybe there's like a thousand there, 1500, 1800, maybe there's 3000 there, you know, who knows? Um, but I, I just think it, it would be brilliant to see this is how many I open on a day to day basis. This is how many on a week to week basis and so on and so forth. But sadly, the, the truth is, is that EA would never want to show that kind of data because then people would really start to recognize and realize just how bad packs are um you know you, you have to really like weigh the numbers in your favor to get a good pull uh, or you have to be unbelievably and extremely lucky uh finn mason says in draft you always pick king kenny because you love the way he played so why don't you buy him for the road to glory wouldn't he fit the meta he would i don't know why i don't know like i haven't used really any icons this year uh we used ian wright and guardiola because they were from icon swaps I packed that Perez. I don't really use him. I packed that Zola. I don't really use him. Uh, we have got... Who else have we got in the club that I don't use? I can't remember. Like, we, we got another icon in the club. I can't even remember who it is that I, I don't use. Like, there's... There's so many cards that I don't like to use in my main team. I don't know if it's because I don't know if they'd play good or what. You know, a, play, a, a card in a draft is easy to make seem good, right? But, like, 
what we was talking about with Loic Remy, playing with that Remy card in Division Two against a strong player, you're you're just you're gonna know and you're gonna see that it's a bad card. However, if I was playing with that Remy card in Division Five, I probably could have made that Remy look like he was in absolutely insane, right? Coming up against even if it was a better team, just lesser players, lesser skilled, they would have left me more space to be more creative with the card, right? Draft is like low level gameplay generally speaking like 90 percent of the games that i play in draft are against way way lower level players so i can make a card like kenny look great or when we put van dyke up front and score goals with him you know you can make him look great and that's not to say that they're not great cards because of that but because i haven't tested him in a high level kind of uh a, like game it's very difficult to know really whether or not he's um He's a, a truly spectacular card. I would assume he is because he does fit the meta. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those weird ones, man, for icons. I just haven't... In terms of buying icons, I bought Vieira once. I haven't bought any other icons. All of the other icons I've played with have been through icon swaps or icon packs. Um, so yeah, I probably won't be buying any icons anytime soon, really. Uh, Oli G says, Hey Nep, been watching for years and I've always loved the series. Just wondered what you would recommend for making serious coins in the game at the minute. Everything I try is either too arduous or too damn boring. It really is risk-cutting entertainment at times. Just wondered how you'd go about making, say, 100k from 10k at this stage in the game. Sadly for you, uh, Oli G, the way to make coins, especially with that limited amount of coins, is through the boring, arduous stuff. The bronze packs, the silver packs, the League SBC grind... Uh, flipping consumables and, and uh, chem styles and, and fitness cards and such, uh, you know, investing in 83s when the market is low and waiting for them to, to rise and flip them. That's how you have to make the coins, right? It's, it's just, there, there's no easy way. It's, it's just, it has to be difficult, you know, because if it was too easy, everyone would be able to do it and then it would, ha it would lose uh, the impact. Once you get to, I'd say about a million coins or so, there's then a few really easy ways to make lots of coins that just take a little bit of um, understanding of the market and, and research, you know, like icon flipping is one of them. Uh, inform flipping is one of them. Special card flipping is one of them. Like, like when Future Stars comes out on Friday, it would be smart to buy the Future Stars at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. during those lightning rounds and then sell them again at 10 p.m. when they have almost definitely gone up 20, 25 percent in price because there's far less supply of them now. It would be a really, really, you know, good way to make lots of coins quite quickly. Um, sadly, there is no, there's no kind of like one size fits all answer. There's, there's no just do this and you'll make coins because the market changes so much on a day to day basis. Uh, the, the, the methods to make coins change so much on a day to day basis. That there sadly is just no real easy answer to that uh, ig sharp says just wondering what tactics you use because i've been thinking of trying something new so for me this weekend league uh, and right here what you're the gameplay that you're watching here i use lots of different tactics i've been cycling through the 442 and the 442 second variant the 4222 the 4231 um and the 424 i used in the weekend league as well i've been trying passive aggressive um uh, balanced, uh, attacking, defensive. I've been trying a little bit of everything, trying to find my feet. And th there was a comment as well. Um, and I couldn't find the comment, but the gist of it was a guy saying like, you know, he, he, he was real nice about it as well. It, it was a really well-constructed comment, but in a nutshell, he basically said, stop playing to the meta and develop your own play style, right? And I looked at that comment and I thought, you know what? He, he is quite right. Right, I, I, everything I look to do, you know, like somebody had said the other day, drop. I saw loads of content creators tweeting out, drop back one depth is back. People are playing it a lot. It's really hard to break down and defend against and yada, yada, yada. So in my mind, I was like, okay, maybe if I'm struggling, you know, I lost a game to a quality player. I'm like, maybe I should try to drop back one depth. So I went and played a game on drop back to one depth. I hated it. I couldn't create chances. It's, it's just not me. And I got I to gotta try and start remembering what I do in FIFA that works well, and what makes me stand out in my terms of skill level. And that is always my attacking. I've always been a predominantly much, much better attacker than I have been defender. And so I got to stop even, you know, it, it works well in certain regards, but I got to stop putting all of my players on comeback on defense. I got to start setting my strikers to stay up, start setting my, my wide cams or wingers to balanced and not come back on defense. Because what's happening is I'm winning the ball back, and then I only have like two players up front, and I just I get I just get like like just swamped on by my opponent, and 
because they're playing one depth drop back, I'm just letting them counter me constantly. And it's just a really bad way to play FIFA. So going forwards for the next week or so, I don't know what formation I'm going to use, but definitely in terms of tactics, I'm going to start using a much, much more aggressive offensive tactic and let my players sit up front and just rely on the fact that I will just outscore my opponents. Even if I'm terrible defensively still, uh, I'm going to outscore my opponents. And then the last comment is... Uh, from FIFA, he says, having a wonder team doesn't make you a good FIFA player. Someone got elite playing with a silver squad. That was AA, of course. Uh, Nep knows this. It's all about levels. I'm a Div 4 and beat wonder squads because I was just better player that game. And yeah, I, I, I will agree that, that my squad or squads in general will only ever give you that edge when you're against a similarly matched skill player. So if I come up against somebody who's also an elite three level player that's when my team will kind of pay dividends for me and even then not all the time that though guys is going to be the end of the video so thank you very much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time i'm out peace